So, uh, Olympic year, this year, you have changed something in your preparation, as we can see, because you are racing stage races, something you have never done before. So, what you have changed this year for this Olympic year? What you hope of the year? Yeah, I mean, uh, every year the preparation is it has to slowly evolve because we're always changing and the sport is changing so much. Um, this year I've done it completely different. Normally I'm not racing until late April going into May, um, but with the UCI points and the Olympic year being so important, the, the points are what we're chasing ultimately and in North America we don't have races this early so it's a wonderful opportunity to come here in the sunshine and training um, but then having this fabulous training and racing um, this early is is very new to me but um, you know those early early May World Cups are so important for qualifying for us um, so the fitness and points are so crucial so it's a great opportunity and it's good training ultimately. You have been a completely cross country rider focused till now you have tried only one stage race this year uh, how you feel with this new format and how you get adapted to do it uh, racing every day, uh, sure. how do you feel with stage racing? Yeah, I mean, we're used to racing 90 minutes flat out, um, and, and it's, that's just how I've always done it. That's been my focus, and it's, it, it continues to be my focus, World Cup racing. Um, but it's, it's really, um, it's, it's more of like a training perspective, um, you know, multiple days, day after day, and, and, and perfecting recovery and, and nutrition and everything. So. It's, um, it's a new element of training, really. It's been fun, it's been, it's been very different. Last week in Lanzarote was my first um, stage race, and then the Mediterranean Epic here is my second ever. And I did actually pre-ride some of the track, and it is so fabulous. It's, it's, it's great for endurance, it's great for speed, it's great for technical, tactical. It, it kind of has everything here, so I'm really looking forward to it. And for your Olympic uh, participation this year, how is the process in Canada? How do you get uh, your sport to race there? Yeah, so we we um, we did most of our qualifying in 2019, um, and with having a, a, a strange year, um, I haven't yet qualified. But our team isn't selected until the end of um, Czech Republic, the first World Cup here in the end of May. So after that one race, then the team is selected, and it's basically the best two World Cup. European World Cup results. Um, so any given year in the in the past, it wouldn't have been an issue. But uh, with having an off year last year, I've, I've got a lot of, a lot on the line for one race. Uh, but I'm hopeful and I'm fitter than I'm. I'm more fit now than I'm usually by May or sorry June July in a season. So hopefully this will unfold and it'll go well in, in May. So the process is still open. Uh, no rider have the spot uh, confirmed. It's completely open now. Exactly. It's still it's still open. There's some great results I have to beat, but um, ultimately I have to get top three at, at Czech Republic. Okay. Yeah. And for this race, you came here with some objective on the results, or you came here only to do your training and take the most points possible? Yeah. Um, definitely the points are the focus. So the overall finish to get the most points, um, and then the the training and, and all of the other little. Um, attributes that come with racing are, are kind of bonus, but the most important is the points. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, about the star list, did you have to see the other girls that they are racing this year here? Yeah, yeah. It seems like it's going to be a pretty competitive field. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, good quality hard racing is, is, is near impossible to simulate in training, so it's, it's near the best form of training. Um, and there's not a lot of pressure on the line so it's really good to push your own limits and challenge your new you know new new challenges uh, per se so yeah it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting and, and yeah I'm excited for four days of race. Do you have any tactics for the race and uh, you have seen something of the stages you have look at the profile or you see this is stages for me or maybe another one what fits you best or something like that? Yeah I think every day has a very different it's, it's all within the same mountain range but it's a very different each stage is very different like different terrain different rocks different amount of climbing um, I've just been here for 10 days now so I've seen a little bit of the tracks um, not everything um, exactly the same but uh, I got a good feel for, for what kind of terrain and the descending and what kind of climbing so I think it's gonna be you know just knowing knowing points of the race um, when our when it's going to be critical to, to know when to be with the wheel or when to attack. Um, having not raced before, there's still a little bit of that unknown. Um, but for the most part, we get to see the profile online. There's a really 
nice laid out map uh, online for the, for the race. So we can follow this and kind of memorize a lot of the, the key elements. As a cross country rider, you are used to have always a mechanic with you in the fit zone, so you don't have to take care of the bike at all. But here, you know that you are almost alone in the mountains. So how are your technical skills with the mechanics? Ah, touch wood. I mean, um, yes, World Cup racing, you, you don't carry any tools, no tubes, no CO2. You just, because you, you, you enter a technical zone twice a lap and it's only within four and a half kilometers. So you, if you have a problem, you stop. But um, I don't know, my, my family, when we were little, we, we, were, we, taught, we were taught how to do most things on the bike. So I think if anything goes wrong, it's just going to be a matter of getting it done fast. But I can, I can do just about anything. Perfect. So, we'll see. <laughs> so I hope you have a good race here and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Muchas gracias. Yeah.